This is Teresa Mayfield Meyer, and this tutorial is about bulk loading media metadata. If you've added media to Arctos through one of the bulk loading tools, either the image uploader or by using CyberDuck, um, your media is now at TAC, but it's not easily found or found at all within Arctos until you add some metadata to it and, and attach that media to things in Arctos. So um, I'm going to proceed with this tutorial um, from the upload image tool tutorial. So I'm assuming that you've uploaded images using that tool. Um, and then this will be the process for adding metadata to those images. When you've used the media upload tool, you will get an email from TAC saying that your upload job is done and you can download a file um, from the link. When you click on that link, you get a file that's something like this. It'll be a little mashed together with the columns um, much narrower and a little difficult to read, but you can stretch them out. And this file has almost everything you need to add metadata to your media um, and include it in Arctos. Um, but there are some extra things that I like to add and that make all of the media more useful. So we'll start with the media license. Um, this field will be blank in your file and you need to choose a license for your media. In order to select a license, you can look at the code table for media licenses by searching code tables and then scrolling down to the CT media license table. And this gives you your options for media licenses. Um, if you need some other type of license, just post a GitHub issue. All of these are going to be non-commercial, no derivative. So I will just copy that and place it in this field. So um, the rest of the information that's in this file is necessary for the upload. So we'll, we'll just leave it as it is. The media type is an image. The URI, this is the web address of the image. What kind of uh, file it is, a JPEG. And then when you use the upload tool, Arctos will generate a preview for you. So this is the URI for the preview, the thumbnail. The last two columns in this file are file names. And the very last one is the file name that you gave when you sent the, up the images. The temp new file name is pretty much always the same. In any case, neither one of these are necessary for the media bulk load tool, but they are helpful if you've named your files with catalog numbers in order to attach the media to the appropriate cataloged item. So what I usually do with this file is I add some columns to it. And what I'm going to do is unhide some rows that I've and columns that I've put in here so that I can show you what I usually do with this file. These last two columns I use for the media relationship. What is this image related to? And it's usually a cataloged item and that's what we're going to use in this case. So the relationship is also controlled by a code table. If we go back to the list of code tables here and down to media relationship, this shows you all the different relationships that you can attach to the media. In this case, we're going to use shows cataloged item. So I'll just copy from here and paste it in this field. And then in the related term one, we need the catalog number, which we almost have here, but we need to first get rid of the .jpg. 
So we'll do a find and replace on that. And then this is the catalog number, but what we need is the GWID, the three-part catalog number with the institutional acronym, the collection code, and the catalog number. So what I'm going to do for this is replace the UA here with the first part of the GWID, which is UAM EH, and then we have to add back the UA. So now we have the GWID for those cataloged items so that Arctos can match up the images with the cataloged items. The last few columns in this file are things that I generally like to add for my own information purposes. So I will add a label, um, that's a description, and I view this as something that could be used for people who were visually impaired that might describe the object. But for the purposes of this, to make it simple, I just gave a description of what you're looking at when you, which view you're looking at when you look at the object. I also like to add a label of the date made. And in this case, when you do that, putting the value in the date format is appropriate, year, month, day. And then I also like to add who created this photograph. So created by agent and the person's name who took the photograph. Once you have however many labels and or relationships you want, then we need to save the file as a CSV so it can be uploaded to the tool. Now, because I have this extra row of headers in here, I'm going to delete the old one. And now we have the headers necessary for the tool. And then we need to save it as a CSV. So now we'll close this and we'll go to the bulk load media metadata tool and you find that at enter data, fetch tools, bulk load media metadata. Scroll down to the bottom. Um, there's descriptions here of how this works and also you can download a template if you want to create a file from scratch. So if you've used the CyberDuck upload, you'll need to create your template from scratch. Um, we're going to browse and get the CSV file that we just created and upload it. And this process can take a little while. It depends on how many files you have um, or how many rows in the file. Sometimes I've waited up to a day for it all to be done, um, but most of the time within a day or sometimes within an hour or a few minutes, it can be finished. And um, you can check it to see what's going on. And these are some old ones up here that I've loaded, but right now ours are still in process. So it's, um, you can tell that something is happening there. There'll be blank rows, but um, until they have some kind of status, um, you won't see what's happened here. After they've finished uploading, you can check your cataloged items to see if the images are there. Um, and if you wind up with error messages, then, um, most of them you should be able to figure out, but occasionally there's cryptic ones. Um, I will say what happened here is I originally loaded these um, without the, the three-part GWID, and so it could not figure out what I was, what relationship I was trying to create with the cataloged items. So I went and redid that again. And in fact, when you have things with statuses that are 
errors, you can get rid of them from this file. So rather than make everyone wait for these to load, um, that's the process for bulk loading media metadata. And you can also review documentation in the how to for media. Um, it's how to upload media to TAC. And there's in the small batch uploads, a small um, section on media metadata that can help you with this as well. So I hope you have fun uploading media.